Welcome to the Best Kept Secrets podcast where we share our best kept secrets about life, love, God and everything in between. Hi guys, welcome back to the Best Kept Secrets podcast where we share our best kept secrets on life, love, God and everything in between. I have been wanting to do an episode on friendship. Obviously, I knew my friend would have to be on it, but I also wanted to do it with another friendship pair that I admire and so I have the honor of having Wanjiro Njiro and Nyawira Gashugi with Ooh. me as well as my friend Dwani Tombush um, who on Instagram rambling and snaps a whole different name on there but <laughs> <laughs> I'll let everyone the just go around um, introducing themselves and then we go right in. Yeah. So hi everyone, my name is Wanjiru. I am the host of the Joyride podcast as well as the Nook by the Joyride and I'm happy to be here. <laughs> um, hi everybody, uh, my name is Nyawira Gashugi. I am... Many I create, things. I am many things. Yeah. <laughs> but for the purpose of this conversation, <laughs> I, I create content on a platform called Misunderstood and yeah, I'm happy to be here, Sharon. Why don't you mm. tell us everything else? Because there are so many things. I sound like those pastors who say, me na pananga, you na uzanga, you na pananga. Hey, too many things. But I do. I think I, I do a lot of things. Yeah. And I think um, all content based just on different platforms. So I write, I speak, I... I, I, yeah, the only thing I haven't done is singing. <laughs> and watch, watch this face. <laughs> watch this face. Watch this face. Yeah. Duani. Um, okay, hi. I'm Duani Tombush. I feel like I sound boring in comparison. <laughs> <laughs> I am a business management consultant mm. by day. And I guess in my free time, I like to experiment with color. So, uh, you look yes. very beautiful. Yeah. 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 Oh, thank you, guys. Mm. Thank you. So basically on this episode, we're just going to go around and we'll be sharing our best kept secrets about uh, friendship and everything in between and just how to be intentional about friendships, the purpose of friendships in our lives and yeah. So I'll start us off so we get the ball yes. rolling. No, yes. thank don't you. Worry, don't worry, don't <laughs> worry. Who could the exam? Yeah, okay, we'll <laughs> <know. laughs> the exam you have, you have a notebook. I have a notebook, guys. Me, I like to, I like to sure. write physically. I'm a journal girl, like I just like to write. I'll so. piggyback on all your points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a notebook. Um, hmm. Let me start. I'm trying to decide if I want to start slow or just go right in. Um, let me just start, just go right in, right? Okay. And I wrote that um, it's okay if not all friendships end up being lifetime friendships. Mm. Appreciate that some are only meant for a single. Sorry, I appreciate that only some are meant for a season. Um, and I think I wrote this because I am one of those people who've had friendships for a really, really long time. I think Duane is actually one of my really younger friendships. Mm. Um, a lot of my friendships come from high school. So mm. I've known them for almost 15 years now and we became friends on the first day of high school. Like day one as monos, like we just kind of just found each other and we've been friends since then. So I've seen these girls go into women who now have babies, are getting married, are doing all of these things. And then I have others that I formed in uni, which was also quite a bit, um, a long time ago. Um, and then Duani, who we met in uh, my first job. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't your first job, but it was my first mm. job straight out of uni, 2017. 16. 2017. 17? Yeah, no, early babe, 2017. Was it? Yes. When did I graduate? Seven, yeah, yeah, 2017. <laughs> yeah, 2017. Um. Yeah, so you're one of my very younger friendships. Mm. Um, so I think going into um, just my friendships, I'm usually like, yeah, this is the women I'm going to grow old mm. with. I'm going to see their grandchildren <laughs> mm. and all of these things. And recently I had a friendship breakup with one someone that I thought was one of those. And it was very hard for me to understand the concept of we're not going to be friends forever. Mm. You know what I mean? But then now, like, as I as I took time to process it, I realized that some friendships are just supposed to be there for a season. Mm -hmm. And when you realize that this friendship, I, I can see that it's only here for a season, I need to be um, intentional about doing what 
I'm supposed to do with it in this season so you don't miss out on whatever God had planned for that to be. Mm-hmm. Um I've also realized I've not said how we met and mm-hmm. then you guys can mm-hmm. see how you met. Okay. Do you want to tell them? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like you say it better. Yes. Okay. Like when you first yeah. baptized. Yeah. <laughs> or right now when she time. tried to <laughs> when she tried to avoid my eyes. <laughs> I was trying to avoid yes. your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> So we met in a very interesting workplace. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to share where we met. No, (laughs) please. Yes. There's a bit of trauma there. Yeah. Um, But... (laughs) But Sharon and I were not working on the same like project mm. or account at the time. Um, and I noticed, you know, she s- used to sit across me yeah. and she was just this quiet babe with, you know, resting B face. Mm. Um, and it just <laughs> intrigued me, you know, mm. like people of mystery draw me to them mm. because I'm like, I want to be the one mm. that cracks that surface, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, it's giving it's, Joe it's from really, you. It's really giving, giving Joe. Stalker. Yeah, I mean, mm. I do think there is something <laughs> attractive yeah. about it. Yeah. It is Joe. It yeah. is. Dear you. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I dear you. I see you. Yeah, so that was how I used to come in every morning. I'm like, I see you. Even mm. though you're quiet, you're <laughs> looking so busy on your laptop. I yeah. see you, boo. So one day, you know, I kept on looking at this resting bee face. And I was like, you know what? So I walked up to her and I was like, hi, I'm Duani. What's your name? First of all, this girl looks up at me and the first thing I notice is it looks like she wants the floor to open wide ah. and yeah. swallow her in that moment. That <laughs> <walked up>. <laughs> <laughs> the fright in her face and the, oh my God, <laughs> you did not just talk to me, yeah. was real. Mm. And I was just like, yeah, I've noticed you, you know, we've been sitting across each other for a while now. You don't talk Wait, to anyone. Wait, all this time you're sitting each other, you had never said hi to each other? Yes, oh, we had never, never said hi. Yeah. yeah, never. How, How long was it? <laughs> It's probably a couple, a couple of, of months. months. Yeah. What? And no yes. even hi. No. Yes. Her, she would literally put her head in her laptop. So it was hard <laughs> like, to even long uh, eyes yeah. with her, you know? I'm here to get you, my money yeah. and go. <laughs> and yeah. then once it was time, she just like quickly put her laptop in her bag and rushed go. out before mm. you could even. Mm. Yes. Oh. So yeah, I was so like, I have to take the bull by the horns, you mm. know? Mm. So I was like, hey, I noticed you, you know, it's been a while. We I like your something. style, you know? I feel like there could be something here. <laughs> you know, you want to have lunch with yeah. me? And then she was like, Oh, okay. You know? <laughs> and and yeah, and then I took her out to Java. Wow. I was gonna, wow. Like, gonna wine and dine you. <laughs> um, and that was literally, and it went from like being basically us not saying anything to each other to us having some of the deepest, most intense, mm. re- like conversations about everything <coughs> and anything mm. in between. With just little spices of talking about absolute nonsense, mm. ah. and that's when I knew, yeah, I've locked this one in. This mm. yeah. life team. another one in the bag. Basically, yeah. she was an extrovert that adopted me and took me in because mm. me as an introvert in a workplace and I'm new, I just didn't know how to make friends. friends. I didn't know how to talk to people, so she kind of just like took me in and and adopted me. And I think I didn't even bother making friends with anyone else. Mm. She was my only. <laughs> And one of the other girls was my only work friend. friend. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, that's how we met. Mm. Look at you guys now. So beautiful. Yeah. yeah. And then now she can't let go of me. Yeah. You know, so, <laughs> what can I say? Once they get a taste, <laughs> <laughs> who's the real Joe now? <laughs> Is this one? <laughs> Interesting. Um, how did we meet? Hmm. Hmm. Guys, I can't keep telling you this story. Okay, I will. Last time. Yeah. Um, Ben used to show me this very funny means mm-hmm. that someone at his workplace was sending mm-hmm. him mm. on DM on Instagram DM. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so sometimes, because <laughs> to know Ben is to know he's very poor with communicating. Okay. So sometimes when he's driving, it's like, just respond to this person. Mm. So that's how we started talking with Nyomira. <laughs> so you'd be the one who's responding. Yeah. yeah. So like we met in Ben's DMs. Oh, yeah. I didn't know it was one yeah, zero. Can you imagine how creepy you. that is? It's like, <laughs> Ben, hey, that's a bit too but many. Ha ha ha. No, really funny. So that's yeah. essentially how we met. So you used to work with Ben? Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Mm, yeah. Then okay. we became, actually, well, maybe a year before, well, no, a few months before you and I became friends. Yeah. 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 So Ben and I had worked for some time and then now. We, we reached the level where now you can meet my girlfriend. F- physically, oh, yeah. Okay. Wow, she exists. There's something there. She yeah. exists. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, essentially, right. that's how we met. For yeah. context, Ben is my husband's partner. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think if they don't know, no, there's a no, problem. No, like, you can't assume. Okay, good <laughs> yeah, girl. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, good girl. Yeah. Mm, so okay. I don't think I've left anything out. Mm-mm. That's how it, yeah. Mm-mm. Okay. Mm. All right. So one of you can share your... I'll, I'll let the smart one go first. The well of wisdom. You know, she's yeah, the one I had in my head. About season of French. So no, like, you, oh, can, like, sh- you can build on it. Okay. Mm. Now that we yeah. have that leeway. Well, one of the things I think I've come to learn is that... It, I think regarding seasonal friendship, and I'll talk about another secret, but I think regarding seasonal friendship is that it doesn't have to end badly. Mm. Yeah, just because the season is over doesn't mean I'm mm-hmm. done with you, cut you off, I'm yeah. done, forget yeah. you, I'm over. Or it's no. like a dramatic moment. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have to be. Mm-hmm. And I think seasons happen. I, When I was dating, I had some friends. When I got married, I have had some Other friends. friends. Mm. Um, what I do pray is that they stay longer, but I recognize mm. the fact that life has a stranger of pushing people out because mm. I think God in all his might doesn't allow people to be there for sometimes. He brings people for a certain need mm. and I think that becomes the reality of seasonal friendship. But one yeah. of my best kept mm-hmm. secrets would be <laughs> definitely the fact that toxicity sometimes is not from the other party. Mm. And sometimes we don't like talking about it, but we mm. can be toxic and we yeah. exude that toxicity and now punish people because of what we think they should have done. Mm. And so I think a secret in that lesson would be that you need to, in, regardless of what level of friendship you are, your expectations of the friendship must be communicated. Mm. Yeah, don't assume mm-hmm. it. Oh, we guy don't. Mm. And I think it's just as simple as saying, I like being treated this way. These are the things I find important. Because mm. if you don't share that, it ends up becoming... You start feeling like you're being disappointed, but yeah. they are really not at fault. They don't know. Yeah, because yeah. you've not uh, yeah, communicated your expectations. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. if you don't communicate them, don't expect mm-hmm. them. And so I think that's a that's my best kept secret. Yeah. 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 Great. Um, I think Duani then Wanjiro. Um, so I don't know if this counts as a best kept secret, <laughs> but mm-hmm. I will say um one of the things I love the most about friendships is this like quote or phrase that I'm going to use that people bastardize all the time, Mm -hmm. which is, you know, blood is thicker than water. And for me, I've been preaching to everybody now that the full, the full Mm. quote is the blood um, of the covenant is thicker than the water of the womb. Mm. And for me, why that phrase like is very strong for me is that every day we forget, I think most of the times that your friends choose you. Yes. They're not your family. They don't get born with you. They don't have to deal with you. You know, they don't have to love you. But every morning, your friend wakes up and chooses you. And I think that that's, it's such a mind-blowing, unique thing for me because I think we discuss it that way when we talk about spouses. Yes, they, they're the first people always say your spouse is the first person in that's not your family that chooses you. And I'm like, that's not true. Like, your friends have been choosing you for so long, you know? And they probably would choose you for a lot, even if you'd mess up a lot more than your spouse would choose you for. Um, And I think for me, one of best kept secrets, I guess, about friendships is the reminder that at the end of the day, right, whether it's from the expectations you have of your friendships, the amount of gratitude you show your friends, Mm. showing up for them, when you remember that this person woke up and chose you mm-hmm. again and again as their chosen family, I literally think there's very little in this world that's as unique as that. And yeah. that's something mm. we should treasure. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I love it. Yeah. 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 The blood of the covenant is yeah. thicker, thicker than, than the, the water of the, the water womb. of the womb. Yeah. So it's not blood being related. Yeah, yeah, it's it's no. yeah. Yeah. Okay, exactly. but water of the womb is a bit classic. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit classic. We've all pointed that I'm okay. yeah, like, exactly. hey, hey, yeah. hey. I think mm-hmm. one of my best kept secrets is um, especially in this day and age that we are living in, a lot of emphasis is placed on a lot of self-work so that you can be a better person for mm-hmm. your partner mm-hmm. or just for you. But I mm-hmm. think even a good friendship stems for from you, from working yes. on yourself. And I think I piggyback on what <laughs> Yawera said, <laughs> that sometimes the toxic person is us. Mm-hmm. And we don't like to see that. We point fingers to my friends. Oh, my friends did this to me. My friends did that to me. But really, it's a shortcoming on our, Correct. On our mm-hmm. side. Correct. And we prefer to work on it for everyone else, for mm-hmm. my partner, for yeah. me, for 
everything else except for friendships. Yeah. So I think a good friendship stems from me. Yeah. I need to look at myself first. Am I being a good friend before Absolutely. I demand? Absolutely. Am I worthy of my friends calling me a good friend before yeah. I start to label them yeah. a good friend? Mm. Yeah. That's good. You're a good friend. Thanks. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. That actually um, ties into my second point, mm-hmm. um, which is... Um, I wrote that treat your friendships with the same intentionality that you treat romantic relationships. Um, and I actually read a tweet yesterday that was shared on Instagram because I'm not on Twitter, can be asked. Um, but basically the tweet was saying how uh, we give grace to our partners, a lot, our romantic partners, a lot more than we give grace to our friendships. Mm, in this, that's true, in this day and age, we're so quick to cut people off. We're mm, like, I'm done, it. you're <laughs> yeah, gone, like, like, <laughs> like, whatever, bye. You know what I mean? And this man has treated you like trash, trash. over and over, over and over, and you forgive him and give him another chance, give him another chance. But then when your friend does one or two things, you're still there. Like, yeah. You're mm-hmm. like, no, I'm done. You did this, this, and this. Mm-hmm. Right? So I feel like we need to give... And I'm not saying that we should allow ourselves Correct. to be in emotionally abusive friendships because mm. that that does happen yes. a lot mm. but give them the same intentionality and grace that you give romantic partners um and i've said a lot about the grace but not the intentionality because i think we also put a lot of emphasis on oh it's my babes this and this i need to be there for them mm. it's my partners whatever i need to spend time with them but we're not intentional about spending time with our friends, we're not intentional about picking up the phone and calling them. If you go a day without talking to your boyfriend or girlfriend, not you, yeah, well. there's mm. something off. But you can go weeks without talking to your friend, and it's whatever, right? And mm. we've been told, mm. we've been told, don't expect anything from anyone. Don't expect anyone to call you, whatever. I'm just like me personally. I'd be texting, okay? <laughs> mm. I'd be calling. And even if I don't, I'm sending you at least memes. Mm. I'm okay. sending you, like, something. bare minimum. I'm something. I'm, like, we, there's constant communication mm. yeah. there, you know? Yeah. And we can't, we don't always actually have deep conversations. I feel like, especially with me and you, because we became long distance friends at some mm. point and we couldn't, like, talk as often or see each other as often. We were still sharing like a bunch of oh, TikToks and like a lot. <laughs> uh, and Instagram reels and things. So we are we're still connected in one mm. way or another, mm. even though we haven't seen each other in months or spoken mm. like properly in months. And then when we'd speak now, it would be like for our conversation. Yeah, because it's just like I'm <laughs> telling you about like the last two months of my life. This is what happened. Yeah. So treat them with the same intentionality, intentionality. and grace. Mm. Yeah. Mm. As I you think- would romantic relationships mm-hmm. i think i'm struggling with the intentionality mm. especially if my friends i'm not struggling with intentionality <laughs> <laughs> especially mm. if my friends are saying a different industry Correct. Mm. so we don't meet in the same social yeah. circles and i hear what you're saying about romantic relationships but sometimes i find like you could have a pool of like maybe 10 close friends mm-hmm. or say five, yeah. but then you see your romantic partner is only one. So like five mm. people before I communicate with... So like with, keeping up with it all Yeah, them. it's mm. like so much... I, I don't like know. What I do is... I, I, I feel like that's where I'm struggling. I, especially I, if you're not in the same industry or like, our lives are like this. Yeah, especially with adult friendship. Yeah. Everyone is busy. You have kids. You yeah. have a husband. You have a job, like a nine to five. Everyone is busy. But I think we are usually... In my friendship circles, because I have, I think, like, two major friend groups. And mm. so they're different, they're different. And then now Duani, who's, like, on her own. <laughs> <laughs> no friend group. No friend group. Um, I am a friend solo. group. Just you. Um, and Lydia as well, who's just on her own. Yeah. But I'm intentional about, okay, I haven't seen these guys in, mm. like, a couple of months. So I'll reach out and be like, guys, can we hang, can we out? hang out? Can we okay. Can we go watch this movie? Can we go have lunch? Can we have a sleepover? Mm. Or, or we'll just be like, yeah, we just find a way to see each other and mm. make plans. Yeah. You really need to lean on <laughs> that <laughs> into intentionality. I think I don't, I don't think I struggle with intentionality, but what I will say is I also saw like someone post yesterday on Instagram or so that um, in reaction to another Instagram post and the original Instagram post said, you know, we need to understand that as adults, we're all going through a lot. Mm. Most of these things we do not communicate, even with our closest friends, 
because even processing that is difficult for us as yes. individuals. Um, and you need to, you know, give your friends grace, like mm. we've talked about, right? You need mm. to give them space and you need to believe, like, you know, in the best intention that they're not not reaching out to you because they don't care or yes. they don't want to spend mm. time or they don't want to find out what's going on. Mm. But there's probably something there that is causing all of that. Mm -hmm. And then the person who responded to it was like, this is rubbish mm -hmm. that, you know, you must be intentional with your friends. You know, you must have, you know, high value friendships and all of that. And I feel like the older I get, I think I really struggle when friends attack me of, oh, you haven't been calling me as often. Mm -hmm. You're not messaging me. You know, you're not finding out how I'm doing. Most times I think because something you mentioned babe, is like, you're not, they're not introspecting, right? Mm. To figure out, like, it's a what two way it, street, yeah. right? So by the time you're reaching out to me, you're not reaching out to say, hey, is everything okay? Mm. You're yeah, reaching out to say, in a while. Yeah, you're yeah. reaching out to be like, why haven't you reached out? Mm. And for me, I, those are the friendships that I start getting distance mm -hmm. between because I'm like, you're not assuming the best of intentions from my from side. My side. You like, taken care yeah, of. you want to be taken mm -hmm. care of. You yeah. want me to just be checking up on you. You mm -hmm. want me to, you know, be looking up for you. And the moment... I stop doing that maybe because something is going on with me. It now becomes like, yeah. you know, yeah. almost limping to the end sort of toxic situation. And I've faced a lot of that in my adult life. And I feel I don't know how to communicate to my friends sometimes mm. that guys, a lot is going on. This like, is we're so all much. Going, yeah, it's yeah. just too much yeah. sometimes. And when you come at me with that energy, mm. all you're doing is creating more distance. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah. The phone goes both ways. Yes. Yeah, like you can't be expecting your friend to reach out, reach out, and you're not reaching out either. Yeah. And then when you reach out, you're reaching out with the aggression for why, are you, why aren't you calling mm. me? Why aren't you texting me? Other than I'm here now. We haven't spoken in a while. How is everything? Yeah. 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 I'm learning so much. <laughs> I'm, not, like, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so impressed. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. Because many a times I... So it, I, I think the word is not... When the world becomes a bit too busy for me, I withdraw from everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's a very toxic tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because it becomes... Okay. That's what I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down. Calm down. It was like, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's, it, it, it's because in a strange way, I tend to feel, and it's, I'm saying it's a toxic tree, that I feel like I need to deal with this on my own. Alone. Mm -hmm. But the danger of that thinking is that if you're my friend, then alone is not a reality. Mm -hmm. So it's just to keep thinking that every time something is happening in my life, I, I, I feel like I've withdrawn from everybody. And so I'll say, oh my God, I feel so lonely in this season. But I've made myself lonely. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the thing about evaluating your friendships is that sometimes we're so quick to say, oh my God, we're not checking up on each other. But really, I shouldn't be checking up on you as much if we're talking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think for me, that's what I'm saying. I'm learning so much. Mm. You guys have such, such, such <laughs> self-awareness in friendships. But it's because I, I really struggled with it. And I know it's a, it's a very toxic trait. Mm. Yeah. So many of my friends would know is that if Nyawira has withdrawn, she's not okay. Mm. And it's a bad way of doing life. I think yeah. it's, it's poisonous. So yeah. If you're like me, just... See me on the side. Yeah. <laughs> Start introspecting. That one is like... Yeah. <laughs> oh, I mean, yeah. yeah. She was oh, like, oh, oh, I was literally yeah. like... <laughs> Ah, I'm good. really like, like you. Good, this good, baby's good. about yeah. to call me yeah. out. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Sharon. But I also think, and mm. maybe it's just my... You're my, thinking. Myopic thinking is that I think it's a personality disorder. Because mm. I think as mm. extroverts, we tend to have a thinking that mm. you need to see me well. Oh. All the time. Mm -hmm. And if I'm not well, my introverted friend will now start becoming, coming into my business. But I want mm -hmm. you to see me happy all the time. That's what I'm saying. It's a very toxic personality behavior. Mm -hmm. And I think because I've seen many of my kind. It's like, yeah. <laughs> we are, it's like, looking at people. It's, that, it's, it's, like, a, it's a behavior we have. Because so, introverts, when the world is crumbling, they either run to somebody. Or if they're going to withdraw, in a weird way, they are very cryptic about saying it. Now, us, mm -hmm. we just don't say. Mm -hmm. so you it's just a, It's withdraw. a personality thingy, shortcoming. Let me say that. Mm. Yeah. You need to work on your shortcomings. We do. We really do. <laughs> yeah. We do. We do. Yeah. 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 Are you introverted also? Yeah. Oi, guy. You Definitely. really have a kind. Eh? Do you withdraw 
when you're going no, or because you have your close circle because no, you have a I small need to talk <laughs> yeah yeah okay. me i'm done calling you to be like so i'm going through this and this what do you think then we come up with like different scenarios yeah then i'm like okay just like yeah i need to i need people to process with me yeah, yeah i yeah. don't i don't just process Dangerous. on my own no. like extend grace yeah, yeah. extend I grace like that. I yeah like that. I, like I think that. it's your turn oh to share another secret yeah. Excellent. Now this one is my favorite. <laughs> it's because it's like I think it's it's a thing that I've also come to learn over time is about vulnerability. You know, mm-hmm. every time we talk about it, we're always saying be vulnerable, be vulnerable. Mm-hmm. But we talk about it in a negative light. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I'm going through hell. That's being vulnerable. Mm. But I've come to learn that vulnerability is also when you're going through a good thing. Mm. If I cannot tell you that something good is happening in my life, more than likely we're not friends. Mm. Because I, I have to share my wins. Mm. A few days ago, a friend of mine reached out to me and told me this fantastic news. I was almost on the floor. I was like, <laughs> come on, let's celebrate. <laughs> where, let's where am I yeah. hitting you yeah. now? <laughs> and then, you know, yeah. Manda Mano decided. But <laughs> <laughs> what was the beauty about it was that I felt, I felt the joy of her joy. Mm. And I think if we are friends and I cannot feel that, then we are not vulnerable. Yeah. And so mm. one of my biggest tales is not that you're telling me when things are thick, because I think if you keep telling me when things are thicker, I'm your therapist. Mm. I'm not your friend. Unpaid. Yes. 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 Intentional friendships is that mm-hmm. a win is as important as a loss, mm-hmm. and I think that should be a re- that's a secret. I think should be shared with everybody. Yeah, is that you I can't agree. just tell me when things are thick. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. don't. I think it's bad manners. Mm-hmm. I like what yeah. you said that vulnerability has been made to look like I can tell you only the deepest, darkest, mm-hmm. bad things yeah. that are happening in my life, but it's also the good things. The good things. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So even if me, me, Nyabira, if I don't tell you good things, I not we're not friends. <laughs> yeah. We're not friends. We're not friends. We're not Facts. Friends. True. Yeah, no, I agree. Mm-hmm. Do I um, need? Oh, a, a basket secret of mine. Mm-hmm. Okay, <clears throat> I think for me, uh, I guess it's somehow tied into the intentionality thing. But mm-hmm. I truly believe that if time or distance can come between us, we were never really truly friends. To uh, begin with. Mm. Because I'm one of those people, I mean, because I've like moved around in my life a lot and mm. I've been in such different stages of my life, I think if if distance is the thing that makes us lose connection, if time, if we haven't spoken for three months and then we talk and then it feels like there's something missing yeah. or there isn't a spark. It's like a struggle. Yeah, exactly. There's a struggle. For me, I wouldn't define that as a pure friendship mm. because... I've literally been with babes from time immemorial. I've lived across many places. And the things that have sustained me through all of that have been my friendships. friendships. And I mean, it can be something as simple as like, I currently live in Dubai. I have, you know, a friend who calls me from Prague and keeps me on FaceTime to do the most basic of things (laughs) where we don't talk. Or when I lived in Boston, like I'd get on a call with Sharon for four hours And we may not have seen or spoken in three months, Mm -hmm. but I don't even have to think, right? To vibe in that friendship, to share, to be vulnerable, both Mm. about the good and the bad. And so for me, and it might be, you know, a contradictory opinion, but I definitely think that using distance or time Mm. as an excuse for a friendship not working or failing means it was was never never... really meant to be. Maybe it was a friendship for a season, yeah, Mm. you know, or or not. (laughs) And mm. I tend to not be great with friendships for a season. Mm. Uh, I am very much a forever like a time, yeah. like time, like I want yeah. we're like in forever. So many, you know? <laughs> um, so for me, I guess that's why I look at distance and time can never be a reason for mm. me to have to break up a friendship. Mm. We have to transcend time, yeah. Yeah. transcend distance, yeah. and that's when I know it's for real. That's so yeah. powerful. I think um, it just ties in with the seasonal thing because. For me, who met a lot of my friends in high school, we had to go beyond that. Because, you know, in high school, you see each other every day. You're in the same room, exactly. you're in the same class. So you have no option but to be friends. Mm. But then now when we left high school, we went to different unis. Mm. Some of them even went abroad and all of that. And then they came back and we were still friends. And over the years, we still were intentional about 
remaining friends and then we obviously lost some along the way mm. and those ones and you know these ones were there for that season when mm. I was in that school yeah. these ones were there for that season when I worked in this workplace mm. and so on and so forth so it helps you even navigate through life better yeah. mm. so you're not hung up on oh I lost this person I lost this person mm. it's just they were just there for that season yeah. that place that that time that I was in mm. so yeah I like mm. I really like that yeah, yeah. For me, I'll take a tangent and I'll say, I think, and especially this is for my introverted babes, like mm-hmm. live with an open mind. Yeah. Um, I think, I don't know when it was I was speaking to Ben and I was like, do you think I'll make friends in my 30s? Because I feel like I've already made my squad mm-hmm. and it's almost like a no entry kind of zone. Mm-hmm. No new friends. No new friends no new at friends. all. But I feel like that kind of mentality will lock me out of yeah. very many beautiful mm-hmm. moments and experiences with people. So I, I'm not saying that I've conquered it, but mm-hmm. I want to live a more in, open-minded kind of thing as, as far as friendships yeah. are concerned. I don't want it to be like a no new friends kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to meet people and it might be seasonal. Yes. Maybe a lot of mm-hmm. it will be, a lot of the people I meet will be seasonal. They'll help me through a gig. They'll help me through a certain period. Maybe when I become, say, a mother, I'll find mm-hmm. new friends then, yeah. but I want to live a very open I want to be very open-minded about meeting yeah. new people. Yeah, yeah, I agree, especially as an introvert as well. Yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah. yeah honestly, <laughs> I'm just, I've always also been of that mentality for no new friends. Yeah. And if I had stayed like that, then I wouldn't have been friends with Duani, I wouldn't have been friends with Lydia or mm. my other friend Raz that I've made recently in my adulthood. And I know even as time goes by, you I have to be open to, to, meeting, to more meeting more people, more people and new people. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah so, yeah. But, Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're struggling with us. No, 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 uh, no. Uh, me. <laughs> no, what? Because you're extroverted. Ring them. Yeah, <laughs> but maybe <laughs> the thing to say is mm. that now the inverse for me would be very intentional. Mm. Is that I will not let anybody carry the name friend. Mm. It's just you may mm. be in. You may we may be maybe. I don't know. Like maybe we, we work together and I want that to be known that Acquaint- we work together. Acquaintances. Acquaintances. Mm-hmm. And I want us to know that now with you, I'm building a friendship. And mm-hmm. I think the thing that's the most dangerous thing is that, and I've learned this in my 20s, is that just because you're around me and we've gone through some things together doesn't yeah. mean everybody gets a label friend. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So even as I think of my adult self, is the caution has to be very clear. So mm-hmm. right now, I have friends. Mm-hmm. And I know they're my friends. Mm-hmm. But over time, I think I'll be more careful. As to who you label. Yeah, you don't... Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, not everyone not gets yeah, that. Everyone. Yeah, because yeah. that, that means I'm giving you access to a lot of privilege. Mm. Mm. And I think that's what costs me, is that I'll expect you to do the same. Mm. And so if you don't... Then, then you it will be... A, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just mm. caution now yeah. with my adult self. Duane, are you Turn listening? 31. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> she is just, just like that's you. That's Do I Duane, meet someone today, uh, tomorrow. Best, best friend. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm she a little bit a of a best, best friend. Her. <laughs> she, is, she is a, a best bit. friend <laughs> thought. Like, yes. everyone is her best friend. I'm like, Duane. <laughs> okay, okay not everyone. Met. I don't you think just everyone. Yes, But I do think that, and I guess the way I view friendships, right, is... You will hardly ever, like, I I cannot say someone is my friend and all we are doing is just, you know, hello, hi, yes. how is your business? Yes. You how know, are you like, today? How is today? <laughs> how is, you know, how is life? So how is no, family? Government. How is family? Uh, exactly. <laughs> ah, Mandamano yesterday. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Serious? You are safe? Yeah. You know, no, I, like, all my friendships have come from literally having that like you know mm. intense connection immediately okay. and so mm. i fall in two categories i'm either gonna meet you and just be like you know and it's just a lot of quietness and yeah. me looking at my phone and or i meet you and in our first meeting we will talk for like six hours and that happened to me recently so mm. like sharon says a little bit of a thought but I don't call all of them my best friends. Uh, but I will say I met someone recently and I it literally was supposed to be for a quick meeting, one hour, we do what we're doing, we leave. I was supposed to meet her at 10. I met her at 10. I left her house at 5. So I was with her for seven hours and meeting her for the very first time. And just the sort of intense and deep conversation that took place, unplanned, like all of that, 
for me is you know how i evaluate mm. how close and i'm very much like i agree with you in terms of i won't give you if i don't see you giving me mm. so i'm a very like how deep you're going to go with me is how, is how deep, deep i'm, I'm going, going to go, go with, with you. you so if you're going to be like surface level with me it's okay too can play that game like yeah. you don't need to know my life mm. yeah. but it also means that you know we're not really going to go anywhere yeah. as friends mm. we're just going to keep it's it at be surface. Bay. Yeah. yeah and for me the best friendships are the ones like Sharon where they they try to fight it you know <laughs> <laughs> they try to not let you in but then ah, open up. you find the softness <laughs> in the middle and that's where you go <laughs> the joke <gel. laughs> yeah. Joe, it's giving Joe. It's giving jo- both of you are giving Joe. Yeah. <laughs> okay um my next point i wrote um is that i wrote that um it's not good for man to be alone. And I think biblically, when we hear that, we think spouse. Mm. We think that... Um, husband, wife. Husband, wife, right? That it's not good for you to be alone romantically. But I, there's also a verse in the Bible that's, that I found that says... Um, where is it? Basically, the one that... Okay, let me just two are better than one. Yeah, two better two are better than one. But I want to I don't want to misquote the word. Oh, sorry. Best God is watching. Yeah. <laughs> he is watching. God, God is the gospel. Yeah, they're God. coming after you. Yeah. <laughs> this Christian yeah. YouTuber. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. 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 calling herself not. a Christian and she cannot even call it by quoting. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so Blasphemy. Ecclesiastes mm-hmm. says two two people are better off than one for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other one can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah. And that's honestly, guys, the Bible has all the answers in life. Mm. Everything is in there. Facts. But even just reading that, I was just like, especially as introverts, mm. we are very reclusive, we're very like one man show kind of kind of people. Mm. Um but I've also learned the importance of just sisterhood, the importance of having friendships that are intentional. I've had my friends pick me up in the lowest of moments. When I fall, I have people who have held me. I've had people who have prayed with me, who have fasted with me, mm. who have felt my troubles as deeply as I have felt them. Mm. Um, I have people who've also... Um, celebrated with me in my joy i have people who have celebrated my wins like they were theirs Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like how you were saying about your friend so i think it's it would be such you know a disservice to yourself to go through life Mm -hmm. alone life Mm -hmm. is meant to be shared and not just romantically and not just with your family even with friendships as well so um yeah so i Mm -hmm. think that's something that's really important to nurture as you mm. nurture your friendships yeah, yeah. so what do you say sorry no you go no you go, no, you go. <laughs> so what do you say to that because mm. i get a lot of that from mm. the campus tours we do yeah. how do i make a friend how do i make friends <laughs> like and it's usually like i almost yeah. leave that question on red mm. because yeah i don't know what to tell you i feel like i'm trying to remember I feel like a lot of mine have happened naturally mm. where I have felt this drawn mm. to this person. Um, I think for, for me and Duani, I was drawn to her because of her fashion sense, literally. And oh, and you, hair. you, you liked yeah, it. Yeah, yeah I, like, I, I mean, liked it. I mean, look at her frame. Yeah, so, and you and, do not yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just like, oh, like she, like she seems cool. Yeah. Let me talk to her, you know. And then when I was in high school or uni, it would just be the simplest sim- of things. Yeah, just like similar interests. Mm. People who have, yeah, because now we bonded over our love of fashion and mm. shoes and things like that. And then it grew deeper over the years. But I guess you just find people who have similar, similar interests, interests. And then like you. You build it from there. there. Yeah. Okay, there's your answer. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know about, like, I, I agree with similar interests. But mm. I think if you also saw my array of best friends. Some of them question mark, Zero. question mark. Yeah, <laughs> and I've had, like, I, I had a traditional wedding last year and a lot of my best friends, like, they showed up as my bridesmaids and some of them gave feedback for because the, they were all meeting each other for the first time <laughs> ah. because they're all around the world. Yeah. So this was the first time, you know, they were they all, all together. in the same yeah. place. 
and they've heard of each other, but they haven't met each yeah. other before. So there were a lot of comments about like, I don't understand why she's your best friend. Mm. Mm. Yeah. But there was one of them made a very brilliant comment that till now I feel like I'll always carry that in my head. She said, each of your best friends, Duani, completely shows a different side of, of you. And all of them put together show the wholesome. Who you are, you. you. Yeah. Who you are. And each of them just highlights a very different side. So as much as I'm naturally extroverted, there's also a very introverted yes. side, side of to me. You. Yes. And I think yes. Sharon and I connect on a very deep level, mm, you know, in that, that sense. Um, and a lot of other of my other friends. But anyway, that's a bit of a tangent. Mm. The, what I wanted to answer to that question is, I think if you base it on similarities alone, you mm. might miss out Absolutely. on some of the very Absolutely. best friendships you can have. Mm. I'm in my Joe nature. I would say that I do this very weird thing. I think of it as like leaving breadcrumbs. <laughs> yes, when I meet you, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> breadcrumbs. Where when I meet someone and the aura seems right, right? Especially as we're getting older, where we don't have as much time. Mm-hmm. We don't, you know, so it's not like high school where you just hang out enough, or it's not like Facts. our friendship where we were working in the same place every yeah. day. So we built up, you know, we were forced to be in time and space together. Mm-hmm. When I leave breadcrumbs, technically what I do is, because for me, vulnerability is such a huge part of any important friendship, Mm -hmm. I choose to give you one fact or one piece of information about me that's very vulnerable. Okay. That's very deep. Mm -hmm. And I see how you respond to that, Mm -hmm. how you reciprocate Mm -hmm. that. And if your, like, reaction is to, like, completely shy away or is to, like, you know... End the conversation, yeah. put up a wall, exactly. Then I know, okay, Mm-mm. I'm too Not old going to be chasing you at this point, yeah. right? Um, and the thing is about being vulnerable is most times why we become friends over vulnerability is not the nature of vulnerability itself, okay. but it's because there's something about that thing you've told me yeah. that makes me identify with you. Yeah. Something I probably don't voice out all the time. But you are a new person I've met and you've mentioned something that's raw, and it's something that I think about, that I feel about, mm. but I don't share all the time. And that's how I bond with mm. you. And incredibly different personalities yeah. can form that bond over yeah. something like that. So yeah. I just drop breadcrumbs. And I see the birds who come. <laughs> and the ones that come, they, they come. take it from there. <laughs> <laughs> really and the bird, and the bird came. Yeah, and the bird came. Yeah, she came <laughs> right to my hand. Uh, I had her <laughs> eating out of my palm, guys. It was beautiful. <laughs> I, I mean, I think an, another way to make friends mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. is to ask God for them. Mm. Yeah, like literally you can ask God that you say you're feeling lonely in this season. You really need some friends, some Help lifetime me. friends or even seasonal friends, but mm. you just need some friends. And mm. you pray for it. You pray for community. You pray for to be surrounded by people. And I am I feel like he's he's he brings them. You yeah. know, so mm. he connects you to them or somehow it just happens. Mm. So yeah, make that a prayer point if it's, that's a thing that you're struggling with. Yeah. yeah. You know, there's a great philosopher in our time. She's called Nyawira. <laughs> on, her, on her platform, she actually talks about this. <laughs> but I, I think they are... So I created my four steps of making friends. The first one is that you must be very isolated first. Mm-hmm. Isolate yourself completely because in it you get to know, what do I like? Who are you? What don't I like? Who am mm-hmm. I? Yeah, because mm-hmm. when I introduce myself to you, Sharon, I'll say my name is Nyawira and this is who I am. Mm-hmm. If I don't have that, then I become Sharon. Mm. And that's one of the nastiest traits in friendship is that I'm around you, but I'm becoming you. you. Mm. So we don't have any conversation power. Mm. It's like, yeah, Sharon, I agree. What's your friend? Everything. Like, Same. Yeah. And it's cute, but then it really ends up becoming so annoying. <laughs> because Same. what are you? Who are you? Who are What's you? Your mm. So that's mm. the first thing. The second thing is that you must, 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 must take a calculated risk. Mm. You know, human beings in their own power, we don't have, I, do, I can't just sit here and say, I envision Wanjiro is going to be my friend. Mm. It, 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 it's a great thing to desire, mm. but the truth is, is that the risk is saying, hi, Shiro, let's go hang out. Yeah. Mm. And in it now, I get to realize, ah, it could go somewhere. this could go somewhere. Mm. And I like what she said, is that it, there must be a trigger for something. Mm. So for her, it's vulnerability. For other people, yeah. it's just 
how are you talking to me? Mm. There are people, there are different ways for different people. Mm-hmm. But then now the third thing, which is very important, is that you must make a commitment. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you can't just be meeting people randomly and taking risks all the time. What are you doing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, like, hey, <laughs> spreading yeah. your risk. What are you yeah. doing? Yeah. You yeah. are not an insurance <laughs> company. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. from there, when I've taken my risks, the next thing is now to commit is that I enjoy spending time with you. Now I'm going to be more Committed intentional. To doing yeah. it. Mm-hmm. But the fourth thing is that you must define it as a friendship. Mm-hmm. Both of you must be aware that you're friends. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, I'm telling Shiro so many things about my life. But, but it's not reciprocated. Everybody. Yeah, or she's telling everybody <laughs> about it. Yeah. But friendship would mean that there's a protected space. Yeah. yeah. So with those four things, I think there you make a friend. But then also, That's let good. me just throw a spanner in, in the that spanner, mm-hmm. is that you need to be very careful mm-hmm. at the risk at the risk stage mm-hmm. because unfortunately and we say this sometimes loosely is that we dismiss people before we've mm-hmm. had a conversation with them mm-hmm. so that i just don't like how she dresses or she's too loud or mm-hmm. she's or she's and you start to dismiss people based on such face value things yeah mm-hmm. but and i really like and i feel like we sat in the same direction because there's a connection. <laughs> is that there must be something? I'm like, you're not to this, but I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> that is, <laughs> is that there must be something that pushes me to the place where I feel like there's a connection. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And if there isn't, I think there needs to be a lot of caution in how you move on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think the other thing is just that you know, at the calculated risk stage, you might realize a lot of red flags in the person. Mm. I don't think that's a place to cut them off. Mm-hmm. And I say it every time is that I think a red flag is not end it. You're the enemy. Exactly. Delete my number. Mm-hmm. You're Satan's daughter. No, 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 no. The red flag means this is where I'm going to have to draw a boundary. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's very important to note because it, it means that because I also have red flags. Mm-hmm. And if I'm able to cut you off because of yours, how nasty are you to accord me grace because mm-hmm. of mine? Mm-hmm. So be progressive yeah. about it. Yeah. And if there is consistent disregard for boundaries, then that's when you cut them yeah. off. Yeah. You tie the knot. Yeah. You tie the knot. Yeah. You tie the knot. Okay. Mm-hmm. It was actually your point. Yeah. Amai, that's your point. <laughs> <laughs> it was her lesson, but the, oh, you talked about it. I was going to actually, ju- I just feel like I'm just contributing. What's that? A contributor. <laughs> it's about the Bible. Uh. Mm-hmm. I think the power of friendship must be, this, it's not must be, a great friendship solves many needs. Mm. Mm. if you think about Jesus let's think about this for a second Jesus was the son of God you know already that's a lot of might mm. like he's like he's God's God's son yeah. mm-hmm. or not mm. you know and I mean it's too many thoughts about it mm. but him being the son of God mm. means he could have accomplished everything he was doing he fed five people plus but he needed 12 people mm. and those 12 people ended up doing so much work with him and he achieved so much more even when he left they accomplished so much more yeah but when he left the earth, he says, now I call you friends. Mm. He doesn't call them workers mm. because friends carry the burden of purpose. Mm. And it's deep. That's, yeah. that's, that's right. 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 Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. Even the burden, burden of purpose. <laughs> thread, thread it. Wow. It's yeah. thread it. I cannot envision my life without my friend's purpose in mind. Mm. Let me use one jury for it as an example when kindly at the time <laughs> I am the friend who's here <laughs> but at the time when I think I had my first engagement with content was on her platform when I was doing my makeup so badly and I think that was the most common comment like I was blending and wiping but God God works on people yeah then after I became a contributor on the Psycho Podcast yeah one time when we were recording I think at, in Ben's at Ben's set Shiro came in and said so when are you starting your platform Mm. I was like, trying to contribute. Winko vibes. Yeah, <laughs> vibes. I'm here with my brother. You know what I'm doing? Hey. <laughs> and a month later, it became a broken record. So, and a month later, we, I began the platform. And that became now mm. such a push into, so when is the next video? And mm. when is the next video? Mm-hmm. And I think that that helped to me because in my own strength, I talked down at myself a lot. Mm-hmm. And so she bore my burden mm. of thinking of myself as a different space. Now, I would like to say that I bear hers as well. Yeah, is that when 100%. we're considering things like Joyride, is that many people just see us on stage and, you know, I'll MC her gigs and we'll contribute. But the back end is, what are you thinking about this? Mm. And how are you feeling? And what are you doing? Going for fittings for outfits. It's bearing a burden. It coming for meetings. Small, coming for many meetings. <laughs> many, many meetings. Many meetings. But the trick here is to say that 
I am useless in her friendship if all we are doing is having lunch. Mm. Yep. I must be in her purpose center such that when she's thinking of herself, she's not thinking, I can't do this thing alone. Mm. Yeah. And it's it's the a successful friendship must be more than just time spent together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Building. If I'm friends with you, I need to feel like what like you're recording today. What what do you need? What mm. and sometimes it's not need like I'll come and set up lights. No, mm. it's that let's talk about what you're talking about. That let's, emotional yeah, support. Like, how are you feeling? Are you anxious? Mm-hmm. Okay, what does anxiety look like? Let's yeah. go for a walk, you know? Mm-hmm. It, it there must be something in the purpose. Yeah. yeah. It. And mm-hmm. if Jesus did it, I think shame on us if we think that just friends are for vibes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He did it well. Yeah. yeah. No, I agree. And I think one of the points I had actually written is iron sharpens iron. Mm. And I feel like one of the friendships that that has happened a lot is with Duani mm-hmm. because when she oh, met me, you. I was I was <laughs> in my first job. I was straight out of uni, and she has watched me coming into myself, yeah. mm. but not only watched me and supported me, she's really sharpened my eye. Mm. You know, and we've had um, hours of conversations about feminism, about the Bible, about all of these things, and. I have drawn so much from wisdom her. from mm. her mm. and so much knowledge from her that I carry on into everything that I do, you know. Yeah. And even um, with Epiphany and every single thing that I do, she's always been the one hand and her husband, actually. Mm. They would sit me down and we'd have hours conversations about, okay, what are the plans for Epiphany? How much are you making now? Mm. What are the goals? What are the targets? What is the the production, whatever cycle looking like and all of these things. And it's, I think it's really important, like you were saying, for it to be purpose driven. Exactly. We can't just like, you know, vibes. I mean, it's, it's good to have vibes, yeah. but that can't be the only thing <laughs> we yeah. do. You know, like I want my friends to be able to tell me I'm applying for this job and I'm, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. Pray with me about it or, mm. or help me here and, and, you know, show up for my event, my mm. work event or, this and this and that. I think it's 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 important. Yeah. Mm. But I have a question because mm-hmm. you know this thing is about you throw a dick thing and then you ask. But the question would be: mm. Do you do any of you have mm. friends mm. of contrary value system? Mm-hmm. Say, for example, me Nyawira. You know, in my head, I tend to think that after Kathy Coleman would be me and then Billy Graham. Is that <laughs> God. We are no, we are, no, yeah. 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 This life is about how you see no, yourself. Yeah. It's about relax, how you see yourself. Relax. relax. <laughs> but Jari but would would how would I how would I would you if you are me have friends who are either not believers mm-hmm. or either either they, they they are just like different like mm. completely different about you because one of the things I find very interesting is that. It's so easy to talk about what it's easier to talk about us working because we're very similar mm. in very many lights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We are both married. Mm. We are both in a season of planting it's our own thing. Yeah. Are, it's, there's it's, a lot of shared. There's a lot of shared because our struggles are also very similar. Yeah. yeah. And almost our fights even are very are similar. similar. Sure. Mm-hmm. But what would happen if, say, for example, would would this be functional if Shiro was married and I was single? Would this be functional if Shiro was um, I don't know, an accountant or an auditor, <laughs> and I was a content writer. Yeah. Like, how would this work? I mean, that's I us. think that's us. Awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like she's you married, it. I'm not. Yeah. And she's a consultant, a business manage- management consultant, and I'm a content creator. Mm-hmm. So we should live very different yeah. lives, but we still... And so we live very different <laughs> Lives, um, yeah, extremely so, yeah. different. So, what, yeah. so where is the, yeah, where is yeah. the balance? Like, where do where okay? Because so, what brings these things together such that when we sit down, it's not like hey, your world is confused and mm. yours is busy. Mm-hmm. So, what what's the in between for the two of you? So, I think well, I just thought about that reel. That's really funny about like, is she your best friend if you know you do not know what her job description is? And I think Sharon and I are like that. I was like, like, if she you ask Sharon at today, that, that place, yes, yeah, exactly. That place, like, what is her job? You know, if I came and I told Sharon today, I'd be promoted. You know, after she'd be like, yes, babe, you deserve. Yes, what, what do you like, do? Get what? What? what do you do again? Like, what is the next step after your position? Bro? <laughs> like, no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but I think for me, right, it goes back to the thing I had mentioned before of similarities and, you know, vulnerability or intention can be found in the unlikeliest places. And I think that's one of the things for my friendships actually was one of my best kept secrets is mm. friendships can be found in the unlikeliest of places mm. with the unlikeliest of, of people. people. 
Um, and I think on a surface level, Sharon and I bonded over fashion and it was mm. something we both loved. I think on a much deeper level, um, in terms of like, you know, having a friend with purpose, we bond on a level of ambition. Mm. We bond on a level of in this life, what is our purpose? Mm. What is our purpose in our relationships? What's our purpose in our family? What's our purpose in our friendships? You know, what's our purpose in the workspace, whether mm. that's launching and having your own company or being in a job, a corporate space with hierarchy, like what is your purpose? Yeah. And I think the underlying notions of all those things are very similar, similar. right? Mm. We yeah. are in such different worlds, but the struggles we face mm-hmm. can almost, literally have, yeah. yes, can have mm-hmm. a line that you just thread through all of them. Yeah. Yeah. And I think the fact that we're able to find like that, that again and yeah. again and again through every single thing mm-hmm. um, and also interest, right? Mm-hmm. Like it's almost, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that study that was, well, it's about married people, but I think it's the same thing for friendships where they said they fol- followed married people over a period of time. And they found that the ones that ended up in divorce were the ones where if you know, we were, you say you in, you said, oh, Duani, um, oh, look at that bird outside. It's really pretty. And I was just like, mm-hmm. Mm. And I continued on my phone because I have no interest in the bird. Mm. That's a simple example of the people who ended up getting divorced. divorced. Yeah. And then the ones who didn't were like, oh, what bird? Like, mm. what color was it? That what interest. This the thing? Beads. Yeah, exactly. Mm. So if interest. it relates to Sean and I, right, it's mm. like, from let's say using Epiphany as an example, me and my husband would sit down and discuss with her. Yes, what's your production cycle? Mm. How many did you sell this season? You know, how many are you producing next season? What is the supply chain? It's not because there's anything we're like, oh yes, we are now going to take the secrets and launch our own <laughs> brand. You know, like <laughs> on a very basic level, like yeah, interest. Yeah. I mean, yeah. really couldn't care too much. You yeah. know, if you leave it very shallow. But it just that deep interest in something that is of substance mm. yeah. and matters to someone you love yeah. is the thing that keeps the relationship going, that yeah. bonds and, you know, and continues that. So I think for me, that's what sustains yeah. the unlikeliest. And Sharon is a, you know, she's a prayer warrior. She's mm. a really strong Christian. I believe in God, <laughs> but I don't know if I would say... Prayer warrior. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I don't know if I say prayer warrior. I don't know if I'm fasting. checking the, fasting and the gospel <laughs> every morning, you know, or even every day, you know, which Sharon tends to do. So, you know, when she drops these things on me, I'm like, yes, yeah. babe. Yeah. Amen. Preach in it. God we trust. <laughs> Thank God, thank God. I like it. Yeah, Not I the like prayer warrior. Yeah. Mm. I think for me also to say what sustains is respect. Yes. A lot of respect mm. for my boundaries. For maybe I'm married and mm-hmm. you understand that. Mm-hmm. And you know sometimes it's not me trying to what push it in your face that yeah. I'm married and you're not. Mm-hmm. It's just the season that I'm in and I hope you're as happy for mm-hmm. me as I am for you in that season. Mm-hmm. So it's just a lot, a lot of respect. Maybe I don't drink as much. Maybe mm-hmm. I don't drink at all. Mm-hmm. All those things. It's just like a yeah. lot of respect. Oh my God, I've just realized that I said I'm single. I'm not single. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, you she's said, married. You said she's, she's married. married. I'm, I'm not. not. Oh, you didn't oh, say that. Oh, you're like, yeah. 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 denying my Don't watch entire watch relationship. Don't yeah, no, uh, but <laughs> I wanted to also add on that, that I have no friends who are in my industry that I can call like a close friend oh, other okay. than, than Lydia, yeah. who is new. Mm. But all of my friends are such, di- like they're different. lawyers, they're consultants, like they're different. I don't think you need to limit yourself in that. I have married friends, I have single, single friends. friends, I have friends with babies, friends who don't have mm. babies. Like they're just like such a wide variety mm. of, of of women. Um But again, it's what Shiro is saying about respect. Respect. It's just, you know, I know this, my friend has a baby and a husband, so I can't be calling her to tell her, oh, we go here, blah, blah. She has to account for who am I going to leave my Mm. child with? Who am I going to do this with? She has to think about Yeah, she has to think about those things, right? It's just like, I respect her boundaries. And even when I stopped drinking, my friends had to respect that as well. Mm. They know I can't call Sharon to go to the club, but midnight she's asleep Mm. you know (laughs) like she's definitely (laughs) asleep you know and you know and sometimes you gravitate more towards friends who have similar Similar. values because it's just a lot easier you know Mm. like um 
me and one of my closest friends, Alice, we both stopped drinking around the same time. So we just hung, prefer to hang out together because well, there's no alcohol there's nothing, involved. Yeah. There's nothing. It's just vibes, you know. But if other friends join us and they drink and whatever, it's still okay. You mm. know, they're not forcing us to... Mm. There's not like shots. They, yeah, as going as down our respect. throat. They respect yeah. boundaries. And I yeah. think it's so important in friendships to respect boundaries, guys. Mm. Like... It's so, I yeah. think be, people think because you're my friend and we've been friends for 10 years, I can just do whatever mm. with you. Mm. you Say can't, whatever. That's how you mishandle yeah. people. Friendships, yeah, yeah. friendships. Yeah. So, yeah. You know why this conversation is so enriching? Because one of the struggles I've had in the Bible is when the Bible says two cannot walk together unless they, they agree. agree. Mm. And I think this conversation has given context to what agree is. There are mm. things to agree on. Mm. Yeah, and we use it. Okay, and your marriage has been made to look like it's the epitome of life, but it's a great thing. I highly recommend <laughs> it. Let me just throw it out there. But the, the analogies cannot just be in marriage, is that mm. even in friendships, I think yeah. agreeing on respect, mm. agreeing on the, the yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, agreeing on certain <laughs> values. And I think that's mm. that's very important to say. So I just yeah. felt like God was speaking to me. Yeah. yeah. And you know, he speaks to me. I told you. Like, <laughs> no, yeah. Prayer Don't warrior. Forget, friends. Warrior. Sharon is a prayer warrior. <laughs> okay, I think we'll do the last round of, okay. of secrets. All right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I think I want to say what you had said first, and mm-hmm. it's just come to me. You said that it's okay for friendships to end, mm-hmm. but I think for me, it's okay for friends to fall off the tears of friendship. Mm. I look at it as mm. there's, you know, we're not as close, but it's okay. It's okay. I like you. Mm. We're good. We can do lunch here and there. But then there's the inner circle and it's okay mm-hmm. for people to fall off the, yeah. the tears. You know, mm-hmm. you can go back to just being a regular old Joe. We mm-hmm. meet up. There's no bad blood. It's just mm-hmm. that here like where that. we are, like yeah. I'm going in a different direction yeah. and we are going really different paths mm-hmm. and it's okay. Yeah. And it's okay. So, yeah. yeah. Or you climb up or you go down. It's still yeah. fine. Yeah. That's true. Um, I think also for me, because I've had friends for a really long period, they mm. keep kept shifting over oh, the years. years yeah. 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 Some become closer, others not so much. Then in other seasons, seasons they are yeah. closer. Shared similar interests, values become more mm, yeah, alive. so aligned. Yeah. yeah. So I agree. Uh, okay, it's my turn. Um so you my look from last... the notebook, yeah. From, <laughs> from, from literally from the notebook. By the way, we yeah, guys. Guys. <laughs> yeah. Um my last point mm-hmm. is um I wrote that Pray for your friends. Oh. And it's as simple as that, guys. Because you should have been her notice. Now, what do we say now? After <laughs> that? No, because I think recently is when I understood the necessity of having people to pray for you and you praying for them as well. Because there are moments and seasons that Yani even uttering a word to God is so hard. Mm. You're just like you you sit and you think about it or how to even say words and you you can't you know and it's so important to be able to have someone that you can call and say i'm really struggling with this yeah. and i just can't seem to pray yeah. please mm. pray for me please mm. stand in the gap for, for me. me it's mm. so important to have those people and for the longest time that used to be my mom for me because mm. i consider my mom a friend as well mm. but then now just having people who beyond my mom that I could Can call and tell you. that, mm. you know, it's 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 a really important thing to do. And don't wait to be the friend who's always prayed for. Even you, pray for someone, pray for someone mm. you know. And I remember like on Dwani's wedding day, I was the one who prayed for her for mm. before she we started the ceremony and whatever. And we all like held hands in a circle and we prayed before we started this, the cere- her three-day wedding ceremony. <laughs> <laughs> So you prayed on every day? <laughs> no, the first day. Oh, hey, those are the, prayers. Yeah, for <laughs> the three days. Yeah. And um, my friend, again, her baby, when her baby turned one at her, their birthday party, I'm the one who was like, can we have a moment where we pray for, mm. for this prayer child? Prayer warrior. You know? so, I see <laughs> it. I see it. I see no, it. But, but it's something that I've had to learn. I've not always, I've, I haven't always, you've known me for yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. I haven't always, always been, been like that. Yeah. But I've learned the importance of I know that you're not able to do that for yourself, mm-hmm. but let me come and join you in this thing and pray for you about it. Yeah. So, but, yeah, I think it's really important to do that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, now you know if you went spiritual, no, you <laughs> yeah. can't. Yeah. In but God we trust. In God we trust. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
but I think I think uh, maybe just to say that, and I like what you said earlier that everything we need is in the Bible. But I think the deeper truth is that everything we need is illustrated by God. I think mm. when Jesus was here, I think when he was here, he gave us so many models. And I think one of the things I think about Jesus is that he said, "I will never leave you nor forsake you." That's a good friend. Mm. Good or bad, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Then when he left, he says, I'm going to leave you with a helper. Means that a friend should always have a plan. Mm. And I like what she said is that even when she was all over the world, she still didn't feel alone mm. because her friends were there. But I also would like to say in the same measure, I think a best kept secret would be for me that a, a really good friendship must be comfortable to sit in the shame with me. Mm. Yeah, and this is just to encourage anybody who is a friend is that when your friend is going through a lot of that, I think it's very painful. It hurts deeper when my friend is the one who's hurting me. Mm. Like you can't be the one throwing the dirt on me, and I'm already in my pile of dirt. Mm. Oh, Sit in so the shame good. with me. Yeah, me yeah. I'm good. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> help me again. <laughs> and he knows it too. But the trick here is sit in the shame with me. Like mm. sit there with me. Let's get dirty. Let me be trolled. Let me do all these things. So every time you see. People may think that I'm very strong, but I'm a very weak person. Like words really they hurt you. you. Mm. And many a times when I'm and I get like a bad comment, is I'd send it to Shiro. And I'd say, Hey Kai, they have come, Shiro. What do we do? What do we do? <laughs> they've, now? Come. What, they've come now, Shiro. What do we do? And immediately she'll she'll give PowerPoints about what to do. Don't, it's just what you don't guys do don't let don't me respond. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> because I know you. Hey, hey, you're coming to fight. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then go ahead. In fact, you know, it's oh now it's when I'm really trying to like look at it and just not delete or not trash them. But I, I really Shrink. get very uncomfortable mm. when nasty words are thrown my way. And I think I've learned in life that sitting in my shame is is being okay with the fact that yeah you're being yeah hey kamenuka you're being trolled you know I, and things are looking thick if that's happening sit with me there mm. yeah and sometimes it may it may mean for you fighting for me and i appreciate it but sometimes it may mean just sit with me yeah. and just be silent and this mm. shows in that's very trolled together in life. it yeah. shows <laughs> when i've lost someone yeah and sitting in my shame with me sitting when i'm crying and ugly you know crying for mm. me because one where it's disgusting like <laughs> i can't the ugly it. cry mm-hmm. And I think the beauty about it is that if you sit in my shame with me, when we come out of it, I feel like our friendship becomes stronger. It does. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Because you've seen me at Mm. my lowest. Mm. Yeah. So Mm. our best kept secret is if you're not comfortable with me in my shame, I don't think you should be with me when things are great. No. Mm. I agree. Well said. Mm. (laughs) For this and more. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. So I think my final word on best kept secrets would be, huh? Me going biblical is uh, something to be noted, guys. So God, we trust. Yes. God, we trust. I really felt the Lord today. Wow. <laughs> the sermon. So, yes, my word is coming from First Corinthians. <laughs> I, I'm actually the word. Wait. Chapter 3, uh, 13. Oh, yes. Verses 4 to 13. Mm. <laughs> And I want us to replace one word, Mm -hmm. love, Uh with friendship. Mm -hmm. Friendship is patient. (laughs) Friendship Friendship is is kind. kind. Uh It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. Friendship does not dishonor others. Mm. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no records of wrongs. Mm. Friendship does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth. Friendship always protects, Mm. always trusts, always hopes, Mm. always perseveres. Mm -hmm. That's so nice. I worry. (laughs) A word. Where's your friend? 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 Where's your and so in that same vein, like when I choose to be vulnerable with my friends, when I choose to share my life, when I choose to open up, when I choose to be stupid, when yes. I choose to sit in my shame, yes. mm. you, you know, you sit in there with me, you persevere with me, you share my joy. Like yeah. you, you're not easily rebuked, you know, like you don't take to anger mm. so easily with me. You understand that I'm human. Yeah. 
right? And I came to you as a human. I chose to love you. You chose to love me. Facts. And that's like, you know, that's the choice we make. We yeah. wake up every day and we make that choice willingly. Yeah. And so that's something that I hope every friend I ever come across thinks, when they think of me, they think of, they think of this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's really nice. nice. So, love hey, that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we're very wow. good friends. Yeah. <laughs> A very I know. Please, very please, 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 please re- be reminded. What I do you do on is What I do is you eye on Chapin's eye on this one. I was not joking. <laughs> this is how we work this together. Is, I like it. I but like honestly, it. I have loved every single thing that you have all said. Um, Especially the sitting in shame mm. one. I think, I mean, I've even just thought about it. Other than sitting in shame, I think there's also a beauty in being able to call your friends out when they are the ones on, on the, the wrong, wrong as well because I think we are usually afraid of doing that because we feel like mm, they might not take it well blah blah but you have to be able to hold your friends accountable mm. as much as you are sitting in the shame with them so how would you want to be told okay with like for example people. guys Sharon you posted something <laughs> how would you how, like if we were friends how mm. would you want to be told I'm trying to think if I've ever been in such instances but honestly, I feel like I usually let, I would want for the moment to pass. Then okay, now then later, you tell me. yeah, when I've I come out trauma. of it, not, you don't beat me when I'm down. Yeah. Like, yeah. When I'm out of it, then you'll be like, hey, Sharon, I think there you could have done this, this and mm. that. Yeah. So get out of it. Then yeah. It. Don't beat me when I'm down. <laughs> like let that. me get out of it. And then mm. now when I'm out, hold we me accountable mm. and whatever. But in the moment, sit with me in the shame. Exactly. And then when I'm out, hold Call me, me out. accountable. Yeah. So I don't do the same thing. Mm. Um, yeah. But honestly, there's just such a beauty in friendships and sisterhood and just nurturing those over the years. And yeah. so beautiful. I'm so grateful for all of you guys for sharing you have all just shared so many gems. Thanks for having so us. So much wisdom. You too, prayer warrior. Yeah. 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 Guys, Amazing. please don't call me that. <laughs> Whoa. It changes. <laughs> now my <laughs> <laughs> should be. Yes. It should be the best kept secret featuring prayer <laughs> warrior <laughs> and her friends. <laughs> <laughs> please, guys, please call me right now. They are struggling to pray. In fact, I need someone to pray for me. Someone watching pray for me right now. Pray for me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, guys, for sharing. Thanks for um, having this us. Thank you for having so us. so insightful. Um, which one is my camera? This one. So, thank you for watching and thank you for listening. For those of us who are listening to us on our audio, audio. platforms, for those who are watching us on YouTube, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friend, share with someone, just mm. share, 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 share. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye bye.